There are three things that are really, really necessary for the life of the Hawaiian or the Kanaka back in the old days. The canoe, the land, and the hale. Building a hale is a very labor-intensive endeavor. It's a thatched house with a definite architectural style. You have corner posts, you have wall posts, you have wall plates, you have rafters. Everything that we name on the holly, you have in the modern wooden house. I think I have built more than 300. I've lost count. My mother was native Hawaiian and my father was an immigrant sugarcane worker from the Philippines. So I'm hapa. I grew up eating out of our garden, went to the ocean almost every day, and I remember pounding poi for my dinner. It was fun. I joined the Navy because I wanted to see the world. I was in the service for 29.3 years. I was a chief master sergeant. I was supposed to stay for 33 years, but I decided that I was gonna get out and become Hawaiian again. And since that time, that's all I've been doing. I grew up as a true blue American, spoke American, taught American, wrote American, and I didn't even know how to speak Hawaiian. I dove deeper going back into my culture. Hey, mu, oya. Hey, mu. Hey, mu, na moi, ino, ino, na moi, moi, ah, na pu, no, no, na, hau mia. Hey, mu, oya. Hey, mu. Hey, mu. Hey, Yeah. One day somebody says, Uncle Polani, can you go build us a holly? And I looked at her and I goes, what, what's that? She says, a holly peely. I don't know how to build a holly. She goes, I'm taking you down to Waimea Falls Park and I'm going to introduce you to Uncle Rudy. He'll show you how to build a holly. And the rest is history. What really, really motivated me is the double hull sailing canoe that went around the world. Well, if these guys can do the canoe thing, maybe I can do the holly thing. First thing you build the holly, you tie a knot. Pop, pop, pop. Lo Lima. It brings people together. Lo Lima means many hands make light work. Ho! Now, the first thing we have to do is cut the waha. Take that one, put them across here. Papa hina o lua lua le. Ka samana mana. And now we're gonna do our rocks and ha he hu. Ha he hu. Ha he hu. Kui. Kui. And then we say Karuna Po, you ready? Ha he hu, ha he hu, ha he hu, one more. We are very proud and very supportive of our uncle and just grateful for his unconditional commitment and love to not only the practice but to Hawaii. When you're able to build a cultural safe space in community, that changes everything. Good job that sense of belonging, of understanding of who we are as Kanaka and feeling that I'm able to continue this sacred and beautiful Ikikupuna. Although Kumu is 
now well known for holly building. And at one point, he was just another Hawaiian just trying to do something for his culture. If I was never given the opportunity to learn holly building, then I would never have gained all of the beautiful life experiences that make me who I am today. So all of us that got tattooed today show that discipline, that, that dedication to the cause, which would be not letting holly building fade away. What it'll create is a family that will always stick together and share knowledge. Only through the exchange of knowledge can we truly shape ourselves and gain a better understanding of who we are in the world, who we are as a human, as a person. I hope men and women can carry on this tradition because it's not just necessarily about the holly itself, it's about building community.